Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are back in our Job Fish location, and I'll be honest, man, these guys are hard to catch. I know uh, one of my viewers said that he had a fairly easy time, and I did check out what he did, but I'm still not having that much more luck than he was, but he, I think he's a much higher level than I am, and is able to use the, at least a couple of those heavy-duty rods. What's getting me, what's really hurting me is I'm constantly hooking into really big fish with these rods that are just not capable of bringing them in. And I'm kind of limited to one rod and just kind of taking chances with the other two. So, I don't know. They're down there. I mean, I'm seeing fish. Look at it. There they are. So there's fish down there. I'm going to go ahead and... See what I can do. It looks like it's not in a peak period, but I don't know if that makes a difference with these guys. Let me go ahead and come down here. We'll toss a couple of the rods out there just to see. Alright, let's see. We've got... I had to go back and make some more repairs, <laughs> believe it or not. I was fishing for these guys, and I was doing it kind of late last night. Fell dead asleep, because, you know, I'm old while playing and when I came back one of my reels was run. I had to go back and completely replace it. You, know, you gotta be careful with this. I mean this gear is not really made for this kind of map but at level 66 I've got a ways to go. <laughs> a ways to go. So I'm just gonna have to, like I said, kinda take a risk. But I think the big thing that we're going to try, and this is what I've do, been doing recently with these guys, is throwing these two light rods out and then holding the big one because I can tell a lot more readily if something's on the line, even if it's little. If it's big, it's obvious, but I mean, if it's little, there'll be a little bit of a blue. It looks like my leader on this is about shot, too down to 18%, but everything else is in good shape. Yeah, before I go any further, let me go ahead and drop that back there. I'm going to see what the depth is here. That way I know how far. 226, so that's about right. Thought it was, but... Alright, then we'll get number 5 out here. I've also got a two-odd hook and some sea worms on here. That's what these guys seem to like, so. They do like other things, but sea worms are... Oh, wow. That is quite the cast. Okay, I don't think I need to have it out that far. Jeez. I was going to say, that's one heck of a rod. Alright, that's probably good right there. So we'll go ahead and put that in. And then we'll get this fourth rod out. This one we're going to have to lower because it doesn't cast far. And we'll just let it lower and we'll keep an eye on it. Now I did see fish down there, so they're down there. See whether or not they're going to bite now if we have to wait to the peak period. Yeah, if I don't get anything within a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and... advanced time. Yeah, I kind of want to lift it just off the bottom if I can. I might leave that one out there this time. It's a little easier to 
cast the other, but I think I am going to advance time. For starters, I can't even see anything on the sonar. And sometimes, until you do that... Let's take it right to here. I don't know if that's going to change anything, but it definitely did change what we've got on our sonar screen. You can see we've got all kinds of fish here. The trick is, is getting in some of the bite. Now you could do some pilking, but the problem with pilking is it won't count. Okay, that takes it right about out where we need it to be anyway. Alright, I've been visited by this one fish, and I'm not sure where he's biting on. It's not at that one. There he is, okay. Thing is, this could be a Japanese mackerel, or whatever they call it. I've been getting a lot of those. They've been biting on these sea worms as well. We are getting a bite on something else. Yep, trophy Japanese jack mackerel, but still. It's a little bit irritating, getting quite a few of them here. Make me think I might need to raise my hook size a little bit, just to... But then, when you do that, you're under risk of getting something bigger than you intend to get. I'm going to go with a 5 odd hook this time, because I know the job fish bite on that. Might do that all around. We're definitely getting more bites right now. Holy crap, that is quite the rod. I've... Really, really cast well. We'll give that. But we don't want it really to go much over that, so let's go ahead and put this one in here. Yeah, I'm gonna put... Oh, come on. Give me a break here. It's not biting on this one. But as little as whatever it is, it's probably another jack mackerel. Let's put a five out on there. Let's just see if that doesn't give us a little bit better odds. Yeah, unfortunately, the, this mission here has been a lot of sitting and waiting. Just wish I could tell which one it's biting on. I'm going to go ahead and switch this with the one that's in the first position. Whatever it is, it was probably this one. And he's just not into it enough. Okay, let's put a 5 out on this one. Well... Yeah, five odds five. Wait. Okay, which one is it? Oh, 
Oh, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. But it's kind of big. Why is it? Is my leader small on this thing or something? It's barely putting any pressure on the other parts. Let's see what we got here, guys. I hope it's what we need. It is, yes. Finally. This is the This is the guy that's so tough to catch, I tell ya. Green Job fish. They are not at all easy to catch. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> they are, it's just that they're very random to hit. I mean, there's so many other things down there with them that feed on the same baits. I'm getting a lot of lag here for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and get a picture of him. We'll keep him. We're definitely getting a bite on something here. But Echo Sounder, Deep Sea Precision, perfectly tuned. The depths of yield their secrets to you. 7,600 XP, 4,600 cash, one bait coin. Now we got Echo Sounder mid layer detection. So now we got a new one. It says calibrate the Echo Sounder in the middle layers of the water and practice the art of. Vertical jigging by catching a speci specified number of greater amberjack and Japanese amberjack with pilker. This precise technique requires skill and patience, as you must be on a stationary boat and ensure your lure reaches the right depth. Complete this mission and return to the port administrator to report your success in setting up the equipment. Alright. Let's put this away, because we've got somebody... Seriously biting on this, but we got to get greater amberjack and gr Japanese amberjack. So nothing really unusual. Got plenty of those in the past here. Yeah, whatever's been going after this, I'm going to have to bypass it here. Yeah, I think raising the hook size to 5 ought definitely made the difference. Problem with doing 5 ought is you stand a chance of getting narrow bar mackerel and greater amberjack and giant trevally and several other species. <laughs> Sounds like we got tuna jumping somewhere. Alright, let's jump up here and see where we need to go. Wait a minute. Okay, usually they tell you if there's a. Well, it doesn't look like there's any specified locations for them. So I guess just about anywhere. Well, where did I get them in the past here? Let's see, no fish stated there. I don't. That was for, oh, that was for catching those mutant lobsters, probably. Let's see. Giant creeper, albacore, striped marlin, mahi mahi. That's probably mahi mahi as well. Yep. Still got to get a unique one of those guys. Striped Benito. Trophy Striped Benito. Oh, Japanese Jack Mackerel. Hmm. Guess I haven't marked any for Greater Amber Jack. I've just catch them so often, to be honest, that there really isn't a spot per se. Well, I'll tell you, let's... This might actually be a pretty good spot right here, because it's... There's plenty of mid-level fish.
We could try it right here. Hey, we got tuna over there. That's what those birds are all spastic about. In fact, I think I see the... Yep. There's tuna jumping over there. So pilkers, huh? Greater Amberjack and Japanese Amberjack. Well, one thing we know for certain. Take a chance if we're using the regular size rods. We've got this big double hook pilker, and we've got this trophy double hook pilker. This one's a little bit bigger. I don't know that we're going to necessarily need... Uh... Yeah, I don't think we're going to need that. I can't cast this out very far, but the gist is, is to take it down to a certain level, and since this is not a very deep location shouldn't have any problem getting it out there oh wow that was quick <laughs> whatever it was went after that fast We gotta get seven of these? Well. Okay, this is a big fish. And this is not a little Mickey Mouse rod, so. I don't know what we got here. We must have a tuna. We've, I don't think it's greater amberjack or Japanese amberjack. It seems to be too big. I was not expecting so quick of a response. This is this could even be a marlin. Well, I've never caught one in this close to shore. But as hard as this thing's fighting. If it's either of those, it's got to be a unique. Look at it. It's taken off with it. What in God's green earth have I got here? Several moments later. Alright guys, I've been at this for quite a while. This is a big, big fish. Like I said, I would have never dreamt, and he's already taking it out again. This is the second time he's taken it out to 300 feet or more. I get him in about 200 feet, and then he takes it back out. Either this is a massive tuna, or it's a marlin. I can't imagine it would be a grouper. They don't usually fight this way. I mean, they're tough to bring in, but they're not big fighters. They kind of fight like walleye do. Man. Yeah, he has taken it out to 350 this time. I 
mean, I gain a little bit on him, and then he just takes it right back out again. And he keeps doing that where he'll drop the tension. That's what makes me think it's a marlin, because that is, they're notorious for that. And then bolting. Look at that, look at that. Look at him go. Maybe I'm using too big of a pilker. I don't know. <laughs> this is the biggest pilker I have, and pilkers are kind of hard from hard to come by because I can't purchase them yet, unless I have these bait coins, which I really rather not do. Come on. Much, much, much later. Alright guys, I think I might be gaining on him. I don't know. I've, he took it out to almost 300 feet again. And I've been working him like this. Thing is, this takes this is risky because they can get tension down so easily this way. Come on, damn ya. We got him. We got him. What? Holy crap. Holy crap. That's the first unique dog tooth tuna we caught. I've caught. I've been trying to get one. Didn't know I was going to get him with a pilker. Jeez. That was a heck of a fight. Then these guys are serious fighters. Holy crap. Let's take a look at this fella. Man. Wow. <laughs> look at the choppers on him. He's got some chompers. He, I can't even see myself behind him. He's so big. 265.309 pounds. 96.5 inches. He was seriously unexpected, guys. Seriously unexpected. But I am definitely happy to get him. That keep that gives me another unique one. Knocked off my list. Jeez. Okay, we got him. I don't know what that water is about. Maybe it's coming from him. And they got some serious teeth. 37,556 XP. That was a heck of a fight. Holy crap. I was not expecting him at all. <laughs> not in the least. Well, I've got... <laughs> I think that was enough for this episode, guys. We're going to have to work on the Greater Amberjack in Japanese in a later episode, because that took, that took a while. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was definitely fun. We managed to complete... Get that last Joe fish, and we got that big fella. Well worth our time. 
But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Until then, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.